In today's tutorial, I am going to show you an exciting slide for school students, teachers and working professionals. And this is how the slide looks. When I click, you can see here a 12 option comes here with different colors. And when I click, it will give you the detailed text of each and every option. Just for the purpose here, I've just put the months. You can see here I've put all 12 months here. And I've created one more slide where you can just put something like this also option one, option two, and you can just change your options there. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide, go to view, enable the guides, then go to insert shapes, select the oval shape, draw the oval shape, maybe something like this. You can see here it is not circle, it is oval shape and this align center, align middle and shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate it and change the color to some other color and hold the shift key and reduce the size you can see here and this also i'm going to align center align middle and let me just reduce it furthermore again hold the shift key align center sorry align center and align middle and then I'm going to select the first oval, which is a blue one and hold the shift key second, the, select the second one and go to format, merge shape and just say subtract. So you end up getting this shape. Now I'm going to cut this into 12 parts or eight or 10 up to your requirement. Let me just go to insert shapes and from the block arrows, I'm going to select this one, which is the arrow chevron and just make a small arrow like this shape outline make it no outline and give some different color and just put it here the first one if you want you can just increase or reduce the width press ctrl d and just rotate a little bit rotate a little bit here you can see here i'm just going to put it here again press ctrl d add one here something like this you can see here let me just move this one up and i'm going to make it here and press ctrl d and i'm going to add here and make it full straight here you can see and press ctrl d likewise you just need to add across the oval shape as you can see here i've added the arrows over the oval shape now i'm going to select the oval shape first and then hold the shift key start selecting one by one the arrows you can see here something like this you need to do it and once you finish this sorry let me just go to format merge shape and just say fragment and then just delete this part and you can see here just highlight this area and just delete it you can see i'm just highlighting this area and i'm deleting this part so delete one by one you can see here make sure that you should not delete the the oval shape only the arrow part you need to delete it so you can see here i've got this particular shape now now this one is a separate you can see here shape here now i'm just going to select each one and then you can go and give the color of your choice whichever color you feel better you can start giving the colors maybe i'll start with green then i can start with light so whatever color which you feel better start uh, working on that one so you can see here i'm just selecting some random colors And then once you finish the colors, I'm just going to add one more shape on this. You can see here. And this is the last one where I can use maybe some gray or whatever color. Once after this one, go to insert shapes, select the this one circle hollow make a small circle hollow you can see here and reduce the width 
so I'll increase the width not reduce it shape outline make it no outline and you can give any color of your choice I'm just giving this color and bring it here on each one press ctrl D and copy on each shape like this you can see here just copy on each shape as you can see here I've added the oh, circle shape and I've changed the color to white and then I'm going to press ctrl A to select all the objects press ctrl G to group it and then right mouse click go to format shape I'm going to effects and under effects let me just first go to this one which is the 3d rotation you can see the 3d rotation go to preset and from the perspective i'm going to select this one which is perspective contrasting right you can see here i got this one and then i can just rotate it according to my requirement you can see here let me just give more perspective here maybe uh 90 and again if you want you can give more of the y rotation so you end up getting this particular shape you can see here it looks very beautiful so you can adjust the all this rotation x y z and the perspective according to your requirement if you feel that this is something you need to more you can just adjust this one if you want you can just adjust the z rotation according to your requirement now once this is done let me just go to the 3d format here and from the top bevel i'm just going to select this one which you can see here round you can see here and this one let me just reduce to uh, three points and if you want you can increase the height but let it be six point here and then when you come down and then you can see here material and lighting you can just select any of your choice you can see here whichever you feel the good lighting you can see here this looks better also so you can use this one and then i'm just going to give a shadow effect for that press ctrl d to duplicate this and you can see here i'm just going to remove the bevel sorry from the top bevel i'm just going to remove it i'll make it no bevel and the color i'm going to select a solid fill and i'm going to give a black color to this and increase the transparency level you can see here increase it further and then i'm just going to the this one 3d rotation and i want to make it more down flat something like this you can see here and just put it here so you can see here we have got the uh, the shadow effect and go to format and just send this to back so you can see here this shape as well as the shadow effect has been created i want to bend this more so let me just select this and again go to the effects and let me just you can see here i can just play with this as well as this also whichever you feel better and this also i'm just going to make it reduce the size let me just hold the shift key and reduce the size a little bit you can see here and let me just put it here something like this so we got this perfect shape now now it's time to add the text for that first go to insert shapes i'm going to select the arrow or before the arrow let me just add the text i will just say here text one or whatever the text which you feel you can add it and i'm going to use the font called oswal or any font of your choice you can use it and let me just put it here text one reduce the size press ctrl d here i'm going to put text two so likewise you just copy this one and then change the text accordingly you can see here so you can see here i've added the text and changed the option numbers also and then you can simply go to insert shapes and from the line select this one which is the connector elbow and start connecting one by one and press ctrl d you can see here i'm just going to connect something like this or depending on your requirement you can just connect it if you want to connect from like this or you want to connect at the bottom it's up to you so just press ctrl d and start connecting one by one to each text option so you can see here i've added the text and then 
the connector elbows and then let me just go to insert shapes i'll add a oval shape here in the center hold the shift key to get the perfect shape and then select any color of your choice maybe this one shape outline i'll make it no outline and then i'll go to effects shadow select the inner one you can see your inner center and increase the blur size and here you can add your company logo here i'll just go to insert text and i'll just say logo you can add company name at the bottom also and just put it here center align make it white make it bold and increase the size so the company logo will come here and then you can give a small a little bit of animation to it let me add some quick animation to it let me just select this one and go to animation animation pane enable it and then i'm just going to add animation more entrance effect and i'm just going to give a dissolve in something like this and click ok and then this arrow i'm going to give a wipe effect you can see here and then the text should come the text again you can give a wipe effect it will come like this and this should happen after previous and then i'm going to use the animation painter to copy to the other options just click on animation painter click on this arrow and then i'm going to select the text animation painter click on this text likewise you can just simply do the uh, animation copying to the other objects so you can see here i've added all the animation using the animation painter let me just play now you can see here it comes something like this one by one it will come and for this also you can just simply give the wipe effect That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.